गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन होपिंग यू ऑल टू बी फाइन आई एम हेयर विद माई टू दिस टॉपिक दैट इज सेंटेंस अ सेंटेंस इज द लार्जेस्ट यूनिट ऑफ एनी लैंग्वेज अ सेंटेंस इज जनरली अ वर्ड और अ ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स विच कंटेन्स अ सब्जेक्ट एंड अ प्रेडिकेट और वर्ब ओनली एंड गिवस अ कम्प्लीट मीनिंग थॉट आइडिया और स्टेटमेंट अ सेंटेंस बिगिन विद अ कैपिटल लेटर एंड यूजली एंड विद अ फुल स्टॉप और पीरियड क्वेश्चन मार्क और एन एक्सप्लेनेशन मार्क For example, he is a good boy. They behaved well in the class. Are they busy in attending the paper? Such a pleasant surprise. These are the examples of sentence. Then I have components of a sentence. There are different elements that help in the construction of a sentence, and they are subject, verb, object, complement, modifier. and linking word let me start with the subject the person place thing or idea that the sentence is about is known as subject the action or state of being that the subject is doing or experiencing is known as verb object is optional in a sentence the person place thing or idea that receives the action of the verb is known as object complement is optional a word or phrase that renames or describes the subject or object modifier is also optional a word or phrase that provides additional information about the subject verb or object and finally linking word that is also optional a word that connects the sentence to another sentence or a clause now the question is what is a subject it is usually considered the doer of the action doer is the one who performs an action for example ali bought an umbrella in this sentence ali is the doer of the action the performer of the action and it is known as subject he played brilliantly again he is subject in this sentence she wrote a letter or a book the performer of the action is she here in this sentence then subject is the noun about which there is an information in a sentence she is the smartest of all but still she is the subject of this sentence it rained heavily last night it is considered as subject here exercise is a good habit exercise is the subject of this sentence then next is subject complement a word or group of words that add something to the meaning of noun is called a subject complement they can be nouns pronouns or adjectives that follow linking verbs for example he is now a general manager at the national bank now if you look at the construction of this sentence he is subject is is verb here and then we have predicate in this sentence now general manager is a word that is used as a complement for the subject he that's how it is known as the subject complement she has been appointed as an in charge of the school now the subject of this sentence is she and in charge is used as the subject complement for the subject she now next is verb it is a part of speech which shows physical action existence or state of being a sentence is incomplete without a verb verb is a heart of a sentence for example he runs he is subject and runs is verb here and it is a complete sentence akram worked hard for exams now worked here is a verb the children will catch the birds catch is your verb here my sister went to school went is a verb here in this sentence and this topic has been discussed in detail in the parts of speech section so you can go there to look out the video the next i have object the receiver of an action is known as an object for example his mother cooked the food his mother is subject in this sentence cooked is verb and the food is considered as object they have found their books now the object the receiver of the action is books she made a picture picture is the object the fisherman caught a fish 
the receiver of the action is fish here they played hockey the subject played is verb and hockey is object here there are two kinds of objects number 1 is direct object and number 2 is indirect object now what is direct object it is a person or thing that directly receives the action or effect of the verb it answers the question what or who it usually comes after the verb let's have a look on examples to apply all these points on it she likes pasta now she is subject likes is verb and pasta is the direct object that is written soon after the verb likes they have received a letter now when when we have the pattern of subject verb and object directly after the verb direct object is written now he sent a gift to him in this sentence direct object is a gift because it answers the question what what did he send so he sent a gift another example he sent him a gift again object is a gift it answers the question what i bought her a present the direct object the direct receiver of the action is present here she made him a sandwich the direct receiver of the action and the answer of question what is sandwich so it is a direct object the next is indirect object it is the receiver of the direct object it answers the question to whom or for whom it typically comes before the direct object without preposition and after the direct object with preposition i threw him a ball now threw is verb here and him is indirect object like it answers the question to whom to whom did he throw the ball or i threw the ball so the receiver of the action is ball here and him is indirect object she called him a pro now him is indirect object here she talked to her again her is indirect object he bought his cat a new chain now for whom did he buy the chain so for the cat and in this way cat is indirect object in this particular sentence now it's time for object complement a word or group of words that add to the meaning of object renames it or describes it is known as object complement she called me a doctor now this word doctor is used for whom in this sentence for she or for me it is used for me and me is considered as object in this sentence she is subject called is verb and me is object a doctor is used for me so the complement object complement here is doctor they made her a captain analyze this sentence according to structure they subject made is verb here her is object and a captain is used to modify her used to describe the object her here i consider him a friend again i subject consider is verb and him is your object direct object here and a friend is used for this object him she named the cat mano now mano is the name of she or the cat yes the mano is the name of the cat the object of this sentence so that's how object complements are explained here then the next element is modifiers it's very obvious with the name that these can be adverbs adjectives articles in a sentence for example she is a very intelligent girl now apart from subject verb and object just look at this sentence what else is there she is your subject here is is considered as verb so a very intelligent there are few more words that can be the part of the predicate and they are the modifiers of this noun girl here they are so talented they subject r is verb talented is an adjective here and so is used to modify this word talented and it's an adverb here so that's how we can use modifiers in our sentences then finally the last one is linking verbs they help to connect a sentence to another sentence clause or phrase 
you all know about linking verbs if you have gone through the video of the verbs earlier for example i am a student they were friends she appears tired now appears is known as or considered as a linking verb here i feel happy the flowers smell beautiful so that's how these all elements are combined together to form a sentence so up till now you might have got the idea about the sentence structure that a sentence structure is comprised of basically subject and predicate or subject and verb and object and object is considered optional why because sometimes we use it in our sentences and sometimes we do not use them in our sentences and a lot of examples are there in this topic so you can go through them you can analyze them that either the subject was there verb was there or object was there as soon as you will start analyzing the sentences according to the structure it will be easy for you to grab the concept i hope you will understand and you will like this video uh, don't forget to comment in the comment box i'll be there with my next video soon until then take care bye bye